This is the Robinson R-44, a utilitarian and affordable four-place helicopter for the common man that's in a class of its own. Until the early 90s, anyone needing a personal helicopter configured for more than two or three seats had to go the turbine route. There were no piston-powered four-passenger helicopters. That changed in late 1992 when the Robinson Helicopter Company obtained FAA certification for its R-44, a four-place rotorcraft powered by a Lycoming piston engine. While offerings from Enstrom, Schweitzer, Brantley, and even the venerable Bell 47 have proven popular, none of them seat more than a pilot and two passengers at most. Robinson's R-44, on the other hand, takes the standard 2 plus 2 seating configuration of the personal airplane and gives it a vertical takeoff and landing capability. The result is a hugely popular four-seat single that just happens to have a rotary wing. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Robinson R44. Stepping inside the cabin is fairly straightforward thanks to the wide opening doors. The rear clamshell doors offer reasonable access to the back seats but can be awkward to operate in tight spaces or windy conditions. The first thing that strikes you when entering the R44 is its compactness. The cabin is approximately 56 inches, 142 centimeters wide, which provides adequate elbow room, but is less spacious than some other models in its class. Leg room is moderate, depending on the height of the pilot and passengers. The cabin can comfortably seat four adults, but the rear row tends to be a bit more cramped. It's a cozy environment that works well for short to medium duration flights, but you might find it uncomfortable for long journeys. The seats are made with foam padding and covered with leather or fabric, depending on the model. They offer good lumbar support, but could benefit from more cushioning for extended flights. Seat belts are the standard three-point variety, which provide adequate safety without overly complicating the fastening and unfastening process. All controls are within easy reach of the pilot, with most being logically placed on the center console or overhead panel. Helicopters are notoriously loud, and the R-44 is no exception, but it does incorporate design elements to mitigate this. Soundproofing is installed to dampen engine noise, though wearing headsets is highly recommended. Vibration levels are generally low, thanks to the two-bladed rotor system and the balance of the Lycoming 0540 engine. However, as the helicopter ages, attention to maintenance becomes increasingly important to keep noise and vibrations at bay. Safety is enhanced by various design aspects, such as the rupture-resistant fuel tanks and the aforementioned three-point seat belts. The R-44 also has a solid safety record when maintained and flown properly. However, it's worth noting that the helicopter does not come with some advanced safety features like auto-rotation augmentation, which can make emergency landings more manageable for less experienced pilots. And finally, storage is limited. There is a baggage compartment at the rear of the cabin, but it offers only about two cubic feet, 56 liters of space, which constrains what you can carry. Now let's talk about the cockpit and avionics suite. The Robinson R44, while compact, is thoughtfully designed and provides adequate space for both the pilot and co-pilot or flight instructor if applicable. The seats are arranged in a side-by-side -side configuration and the center console is within easy reach for both occupants. The design leans more towards functional minimalism, placing a greater emphasis on accessibility and straightforwardness rather than lavish aesthetics. The standard R44 model comes equipped with a set of basic analog gauges that include an altimeter, airspeed indicator, vertical speed indicator, and a tachometer. These are well arranged and easy to read, even under variable lighting conditions. However, those who prefer a more modern touch have the option to upgrade to a glass cockpit featuring the Garmin G500H, which brings a dual screen electronic flight instrument system into play. This upgrade provides not only enhanced graphical displays, but also improves situational awareness by consolidating critical data. The avionics stack varies depending on customization options, but the basic package typically includes a VHF comm radio and a transponder. Upgrades can introduce a more extensive range of Garmin devices, including but not limited to the GTN 650-750 GPS-NAV-COM touchscreen system which allows for intricate flight planning and is coupled with high-fidelity maps. 
Some configurations also offer ADS-B out capabilities, enhancing air traffic control and situational awareness. The cyclic, collective, and anti-torque pedals are ergonomically designed, offering good tactile feedback and responsiveness. The cyclic stick is usually fitted with a force trim system that reduces pilot fatigue during extended flights. Most of the essential controls are found on the collective lever, allowing the pilot to make quick adjustments without having to divert attention from the main instrument panel. The cockpit offers exceptional visibility thanks to its large bubble windows, allowing for nearly unobstructed views in all directions, which is a significant advantage for VFR operations and can be crucial for spotting hazards and obstacles. The cockpit is equipped with adjustable lighting, which, while not overly sophisticated, is more than adequate for nighttime operations. The standard audio panel enables basic communication functionalities and headsets can be connected through easily accessible ports. The intercom system is simple but effective, and noise-canceling headsets are recommended to counter the cockpit noise generated by the engine. Robinson offers various customization options, including air conditioning, which is a boon for operations in hot climates. Other optional features include a standby attitude indicator and various accessories like cup holders and storage compartments, though these are more about personalizing the cockpit for comfort, rather than adding any technical capabilities. While the cockpit comes standard with a basic range of safety features such as three-point harnesses and crash-resistant seats, it lacks some of the advanced safety technologies like helicopter terrain awareness and warning system or auto-rotation augmentation. However, the aircraft has a commendable safety record when operated within its prescribed limits and properly maintained. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Robinson R44 is powered by a Lycoming 0546 cylinder, carbureted engine with a TBO of 2,200 hours. This engine is renowned for its reliability and has been widely used in various types of general aviation aircraft. In the R44, this engine outputs a commendable 245 shaft horsepower at 2,700 RPM. The engine's build and power output strike a balanced blend of performance and operational economy, offering a range of options for both professional and leisure flying. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,000 feet or 305 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 14,000 feet or 4,300 meters, but the FAATC limits the R44 to no higher than 9,000 feet AGL to allow landing within five minutes in case of fire. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 130 knots and a maximum cruise speed of 110 knots with an average hourly fuel burn of 15 gallons or 57 liters. The helicopter has a maximum range of 350 nautical miles, which is 400 miles or 650 kilometers with a useful load of 900 pounds or 410 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Robinson ER-44 was $500,000 before options. But today, prices range between $300,000 and $600,000, and the charter price is estimated at $1,000 to $1,500 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $20,000 to $40,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $200 to $300. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.